Hello everyone, uh, Wajio Dragon Ruler here again. Um, back with another Market Watch. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been a, it's been about a week, maybe two, since I've put out one of these. Um, I've just I've uh, been making moves. I've been doing a lot of things and trying to trying to improve the channel, trying to improve just what it is that I'm doing. Um, I don't know if you guys have known, but I've uh, I've opened up a TCG Player Store. Um, and I've just been, uh, if I could show you guys, it's crazy. I've just been working on, like, sorting out a bunch of stuff. And I've also been sick, so I've been working on recovering. But uh, we should be back right full, uh, right, uh, right back in the full swing of things here. So um, I've also been trying to rework the way I uh, portray my content. Uh, just to make it a little bit more uh, easy, easier, quicker. Um, I'm trying to shorten the overall length of the video. Um, a 30 minute long market watch while some people may enjoy it I feel like also some people don't so I think instead of doing one really long market watch I might just segment it up into like smaller chunks so it's more digestible um, and again it's still gonna stick to the team which also I think will work a whole lot better just because um now you could just like you have this really short video here about uh, this really one topic and then uh, you like it or you don't you watch it it's quick and then you could just go to the next one as opposed to like having a 30 minute long content and you only really care about like five minutes of it. So, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Um, I also am still running the um, the Endymion structure that I give away. I'll have some more details on that in the uh, closer to the end of the video just because um, I know I've been gone for a while. So I think I'm going to um, I'm going to. I'm thinking I'm gonna shorten the number of subscribers to meet that mark just because I've just been absent for so long. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've been working on making some changes. Um, I also am now affiliated with TCG Player. That's <laughs> that's fun. That was a process to go through. But um, yeah, uh, uh, let's get into it. And um, again, if you guys do like the content, um, give the video a like. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. Um, if you could share it, that'd be amazing. Just to, um, you know to get a following going but yeah let's uh this this team of the day if you couldn't if you can tell is uh noble knights um and this video will focus solely on um noble knights so just quick disclaimer for those of you not interested in noble knights um but really quick look at look th this i would never recommend you buy this uh noble knight of the round table box set it's just it, it, everything is a platinum rare and i hate platinum rare um there's very few rarities outside of the standard ones that I actually like. Uh, Platinum Rare is not one of them, but if you have one, these are really going for some serious money. There's a period of time that Amazon had these for seven bucks, and I was like, yeah, seven bucks ain't nobody gonna buy it. But now seeing it here at like market value of 80 bucks, I was like, shit, should have bought it. But yeah, um, let's let's go right into it here. Uh, Noble Knight Madrod. So this card used to be 20 bucks until the Ultra Rare reprint. But, um, getting if you want max rarity noble knights, you might want like some first edition version of this version. So, yeah, let's look at this really quick. Um, you can see here market value has this guy around 10. You can see, um, you got likely played on limited for about seven. But if you want a first edition copy, yeah, if you want likely plays, they start off at about 13. And if you want a near mint. You're looking at about 15 bucks. Still under the $20 that it once held, but uh, it's still pretty pricey. Oh, it, there's, this, uh, there's this one right here from a Mega Gaming for 14 But, uh, well, two. Uh, but, yeah. <clears throat> um, this is one of the best cards for them because it allows you to... Uh, the special summon one, if you normal summon this one just by equipping with a normal arms, then you get to pop the noble arms and re equip it onto whoever you bring out. So you there's like synergy there. The issue is like with noble knights, is they're so reliant on that summoning. Um, I play the deck, so once uh, once the normal summon get hit, that's uh, it gets it gets a little it gets a little harder. But there there's other ways to, I could think to mediate it. But yeah, so Madrat, that's one of the best ones to get. That's definitely a three of. Um, Max Rarity Atorgus. This did came in the Cosmo version Ultra. So that's another thing too. So um, also I'll be linking the sets, a direct TCG link down below, um, in the description for these cards. So if you guys want to do that, it would, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you shop through those links. So if you want to check it out, um, it'll be in my description, and I also have one directly to TCG Player. And uh, and I know some people shop on Amazon, so I'll have an Amazon link down <laughs> down below there too. And 
in all honesty, uh, Amazon does sometimes have the uh, the better deal, believe it or not. Along with, um, I think I'm going to start adding on some other sites where you guys might want to pick this stuff up that just might have great deals. So yeah, looking at uh, the Ultimate Rare, we can see here like they're Mint Unlimited. Um, they're about only eight fifty, right? But first editions are also like eight fifty for um, lightly played. And then when you get into near mint, you're looking at about ten bucks. Um, the ultimate rare market has sporadically been getting bought out. Crappy cards that will never see play have been getting bought out. Um, this card. <laughs> Is, is is it's a beautiful card right it's a noble knight for one so it's iconic and like people love playing that deck the noble i the noble knight um artwork in general is just beautiful so i would definitely suggest like if you guys ever have uh, if have any plans or any aspirations to play this deck you you pick these up because if anything is going to get bought out um it'll be the first edition secret rare madras and it'll be this card right here so definitely um Definitely consider picking these up sooner rather than later. Uh, we're also going to look at, like, there, there has been, like, Noble Knights buy out some weird cards. And I'll get into that, too. Um, the next one here is a Sacred Noble Knight of King Ashurgis. This is on uh, the rank 5. This one pops a monster. Um, and it only, I think it only came out in this set. So, let's see. Yeah, looking at it here. Market value is about 5 bucks. And of course, since we're like in a in a bit of an off season here, everything's gonna be under that market value. But uh, first edition stuff tend to hold value a lot better than <laughs> the unlimited. And like we played here, you can see it's four twenty. And if we want a near mint version, near mints are about five dollars uh, all day long, five forty, and then they just creep on up. So they maintain that five dollar market price. And next up. Another noble knight that's been going up in value um, is Dristan. Dristan's been slowly like creeping on up, and the reason Dristan, th there's two reasons Dristan is uh, is the price that it's at. One, it's uh, it it allows you to uh, if you have the quick play Glory of the Noble Arms, you could equip it onto him during your opponent's phase, and you get a pop a card, so you get a target one face of card and feel destroy that target. Um, but the, I, I think the real reason this card's been going up in value, I think this is um had another print then. I guess I got printed in the Mega Pack. Where'd I get? Oh, oh yeah, that ugly. Yeah. <laughs> forgot, forgot about the ugly platinum. Rare. Um, so yeah, this card had one other print in, which is the ugly platinum, rare, which nobody wants. And uh, aside from that, it's only just single print in. And their mints are about five dollars. And then this card creeps up. Uh, by the end of the page, it's still five dollars. There's only four pages though. There's only thirty-four on the market that are near mint to likely played. So do keep that in mind. Um, and it's the art. It's it's the beautiful beautiful art. I wish I could open it. Why can't I zoom in? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, just glistening. Yeah, it's a uh, it's the art. Uh, these cards have some of the most magnificent design and art that uh that I've seen in a while. Uh, they're 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 granted. They're uh, they're 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 cards out there that that looks nice, but are they noble knights? Nice. Yeah, think about that. But yeah, that's the reason why these cards are gonna creep up in value too, just because. There, there, there are, there are, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, so remember this ugly platinum I was talking about. Um, the sacred noble knight of King Arturgus is actually worth some money. It's about, it's about three, four bucks on the market if you actually want one. Uh, Cosmo Blazer over here is also worth some money. It's about two fifty. Um, it's not too much. I mean, the rest of the deck from that point does get pretty cheap. What I do recommend is you pick up, like, Brothers. Brothers is another good pickup if you could get the first edition. Um, they're only about $3, right? Uh, stay away from the Platinum already. If you do have them, they are worth some type of money, so maybe sell them. Um, and next up, uh, one thing I think you guys definitely should pick up. I don't know if it's, it's gotten a reprint into a Super, so I don't think it's going to get another reprint anytime soon. And it's only $2 for... Is old and is old is good because you could tech it in any warrior strategy. So it's a warrior strategy tech. Works wonders in noble knights, but does great things for warriors too. And at only two dollars for the ultra rare, which is currently the max ready version, I think that's a fair price. So I'll definitely pick up maybe two. Um, I would get a playset just because I like having playsets. But realistically, you don't really need more than two. So 
that's something to keep in mind. Um, going into page two, the rest of the Noble Knight deck is pretty cheap. Um, yeah, as you can see right here, uh, it's about two dollars for uh, was it Gaw Gawain? Gawain, whatever his name is. Then you have uh, Lancelot over here for about that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. What whatever his name is to the 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 evil looking synchro. Um, Nair Mint's about two bucks. I'd also pick this up because I think this is the only place that actually got a print in. Aside from the ugly platinum, where we're gonna be once, and another one, this one. I would definitely get this guy over here, first edition, this ultimate rare. Uh, just because it's um, it's an ultimate rare, and like I said, ultimate rares they've been getting bought out by I don't know who, but I don't know why, but they've just people have just been seeing them and they've been buying them. So you can see right here, it's about it's about two dollars for likely played and if you want to near mint first ad um and there's only three pages if that goes to show anything um uh, yeah you can see the first ads they're already they're disappearing first ads are already at four four and then five bucks so i would definitely pick this guy up sooner rather than later people have already started making moves on the first editions which means you know it's only it's only really a matter of time i will come back to that um but yeah and then you have a uh, Stay away from the Mega Pack versions. I mean, yes, they're they're only fifty. They're fifty cents. I'd also get an ultra rare printed in Battle of Legends, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I mean, you you want the original print because if something's gonna maintain value, it's gonna be original print. And then of course you need your boars. Um, it's only a buck. Definitely pick it up. And last chapter, I think last chapter only got printed in this one set. Yeah. So if you do want to play this card, you're unfortunately locked into that platinum rarity. I'm hoping one day it gets a better bump, but uh, but yeah, seventy four cents. Next up, let's look at uh, this one. I want to talk about Lady of the Lake for a little bit. Uh, this is um, uh, this is Noble Knight support. Uh, it has the ugly printing in the box, but in the actual set itself, uh. Sh Shadow Spectres. Um, again, all these links will be in the description below. You just click on it and you do your shopping and you're good to go. But yeah, uh, this card recently got bought out to the point of, I think seven bucks. You can see it right here in the market. Uh, likely plays are coming back. They're like at four, then they get to five real quick. And then first editions, likely played, you're looking at about two for about five. Then it hits about eight, right? It's about eight bucks. And then you get in the next page and seven seven a page bottoms out at fifteen dollars. So there's only seventeen on the market. This recently got bought out, so it's you know it's slowly coming back on. Aside from this print, and you're looking at the ugly platinum wear, and people don't like the ugly platinum wear. So that's why this card really is like going up. About. And it, it it is a tuner. For what it's worth, they they have the one synchro, if that means anything to you at all. I don't think that's gonna be very impactful. But um, it, it's because it, it it looks amazing, and it's the only one good looking printing. So, I suspect I'll continue to get bought out. And lastly, here I want to look at um the Noble Arms. So Gwenafar, why is Gwen <laughs> why is Gwenafar so much money? Do you see this? Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, I'm, and I'm almost certain like most of these bios are random. So looking at Gwenafar here, we have it at do 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 do. Go to far eight bucks for um unlimited right unlimited name mint um looking at first editions it starts touching eight sixty nine looking at first ad we're looking at ten bucks ten dollars for this card and I do think this also got the ugly wear treatment but um yeah so legacy of the valiant that's where this came in and let's look. Yeah, I got the ugly rare treatment. The ugly rare is only about a dollar, so if you want, if you want that one, by all means. But I, I would definitely. I don't know if a good time to get this at like ten bucks, but market value is only six. I don't know if this card will ever go back down in value. That's the issue. Uh, it might dip a little and then get buy out again. I don't know. People, people love buying out good looking cards, or even other. It might not be the most useful effects. But yeah, aside from that, then we're looking at here as Caliburn. Um, this is a good one because it protects you from, I think, targeting. And likely played about three bucks. Uh, first edition. Let's look at a near mint. This also came out in the ugly rare. So if you guys are wondering about that. Um, but yeah, 
Near Mint. Near Mints are about $3, so it's not too bad. I would definitely pick those up. It's a really good card to have for, for just a Noble Knight strategy. Um, and then I think the rest are pretty cheap. Yeah, the rest are under 2 bucks. So Galton is a one of, you want to get one. Um, whatever this is called for like 2 bucks. <laughs> and then Des Destiny is also a good one because it protects you from, tar uh, from destruction by card effect or battle once per turn. But if they they pop the Destiny, but and then again, you guys can re-equip it. But yeah, there, 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 are ways, <laughs> there are ways to add these cards. But um, that's really good to think about. Uh, Caliburn that gives you life. It's under a buck, um, and then you get into like the, most of these also came in the ugly platinum rare. This also came in that ugly shatter foil rare. I don't know why people are into that. And then everything else is pretty cheap pickup. Um, so the only thing you really need to look at is uh is Gwenefor. Um, but yeah, and I think that'll cover all the noble knights. Yes. So oh, there's also one more card I want to cover really quick. Let's go over here. Actually, let's go right here. Let's go up here. And I believe it's Heritage. I know it's in Soul Fusion. I think I'm gonna spell this wrong. Here it is, Heritage of the Chalice. All right, nice. Um, the reason I want to look at this card is because it's also it's also Noble Knight support, but uh, it's it's a searcher, so it adds one Noble Knight monster or one Noble Arm card from your deck to your hand. Um, and it also has an effect that uh, while uh. Uh, with a no light and uh, destroyed in battle graveyard. While while this card's in your graveyard, you can add add this card back to your hand. So it has recursion when you get uh your noble arms or monster I think destroyed. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely three of this you'd want to have. You'd want to get this before it's too late. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind before uh, I mean Soul Fusion might get reprinted. This card. Oh yeah, that reprint. Mega Tins are coming, so it might get reprinted in it. I'm not too hopeful that it will. And if it doesn't, then I think it'll just slowly creep coupon up in value but yeah guys i think i'll do it that'll do it right now for um for the noble knights um i'm i'm almost positive this is a shorter video i'll um just briefly like to talk about the giveaway for a second and also if you guys do like the video um if you guys do appreciate this new <laughs> this new form of uh me you know the shorter videos let me know in the comments below but yeah, so with the with the endymion structure that giveaway right um originally i was going to end it at 100 subs but i haven't been uploading as much i've just been busy and i know you guys really want want to get it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop the count to 75 so once i get to 75 subscribers i will be shipping that out um because it was it is my bad i just haven't been uploading as much so definitely um you know, I'm back, I'm back, I'm gonna try to, try definitely try to keep it, keep it more regularly scheduled content, <laughs> um, but yeah, so 75 subscribers now, again, do share the content, if you do like it, do like it down below, um, if you are looking to shop cards, I have a TCG player link down below you can use, I also have an Amazon link down below you can use, I do appreciate it if you do use these links, um, and yeah, uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye.